This power shortage sure doesn't help. Thanks. So? So go on. What would you do if the woman you love phoned to say that someone was trying to break down a door? You don't stop to think that you're a police captain and there's nothing more important to you than the force. You run to her. You calm her down. You stay a while with her. Maybe a drink or two. And when I returned to my post, the robbery had taken place and Harry Marvin was dead. And what happened to her? After I was kicked off the force, she split. I mean, she ran out on me. I've kept pretty much to myself. Since then, I've had only one thing on my mind, and that's to get my hands on those robbers. And I want to get my hands on whoever killed Jean Lombardo. He was my friend. Just because I'm a priest, don't think I'm... Huh? Mm -hmm. I know. Orphan, unhappy childhood, juvenile delinquent, petty theft, reformatory. Infantry private right through the war. In jail August 1947 to spring 1951. Files for robbery and intimidation. Exemplary conduct in jail. Religious crisis. Conversion. You took your vows in 1960. Half an hour day in church and eight hours in the gym. Hey. How do you know all that? I was a good cop. And so, Copper, where do we begin? How about the Red Rooster? That is where it all started. That's right. Hey, you got 27 bucks? I'm scared, Joe. They got to Joe Bell. I'm next. I'm the only one left connected with that robbery. Yeah, and with that million bucks. I never saw a cent of it. But there's someone out there that thinks differently, baby, and that someone means business. I mean, you can see that. Faye, look, baby. I don't want to know where the bread is. But you got to be aware of the fact that there's some dude out there trying to find it, and he'll stop at nothing to get it. Baby. If you want them off your back, you got to throw them the bread. Give it to the fuzz, whatever. I don't care. But just get rid of it. I don't have it. Even if I did have it, they would have to kill me to get it. Joe, listen. Is there any way that you can help me? I know I'm the next one. I know it. Okay. Take it. What is it? I have a small pad at Bayside. Number 20. There's nobody down there this time of year. I'm not sending you away. You understand that? You'll be a lot safer there than here. Thanks, Joe. You really are afraid. 